Where are these from, Jill? These are from the fudgery. It is a great tradition for many families, I know. The when look can in your I eye. Eat? Yes. Uh, you know it? what? Go for it. Try okay. it now, and, I'll, and I will talk okay. while you sample. Yes, the grizzly paw. Now, this is a tradition for many families who come to Banff and enjoy a treat from the fudgery. It's been open for 25 years. I remember when my dad did mm. business in Banff growing up. We always loved when he went to Banff because he would come back with mm -hmm. the grizzly paws. Uh, so, a great tradition that many, many generations share. We actually had the opportunity to go in behind the scenes and make candy. Very unusual that those who do not work there get to go behind the counter. So we were happy to have some access there thanks to Guillaume who came to Banff for one year stay and ended up staying for that seven. That always happens. Why not stay? It's so beautiful here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he knows some of the shop's secrets. Uh, we got to stirring, pouring, and flipping the fudge. It is a skill. So we were happy to learn from Guillaume the art of candy making and why it's a tradition that's lasted so long. The fudgery has been established at least for 25 and over years. Um, it's been in the same location since the beginning, and that's what everybody comes. They were kids at first, and now they're adult with kids, and they bring their own kids here. Yes, many, many generations, as we mentioned. The shop features more than 27 kinds of fudge, as well as 30 different types of goodies and treats. Now, Tart, the fudge heats up to 108 degrees Celsius. Oh, wow. It's very specific. It's time sensitive, and it's difficult. They heat it up in a large cauldron, and then you pour it on the slab. Uh, Guillaume told us that in the top ends of the season, in the summer, they'll have upwards of 40, 50 people around the windows watching this oh, process take place. Uh, so what they do is they pour the fudge, and then you have to turn it to increase the volume and get some air in the fudge so that it's nice and fluffy, and then they put it in a bin, and then they cut it and serve it from there. So the maple fudge, of course, a great Canadian treat, and it is also the number one selling fudge at the fudgery. And Not then, of course, surprise. the grizzly paws are a tradition and signature <laughs> item here. I posted a picture. Is it good? It's so good. It, I only put it down because it's a little challenging to, to uh, chew that and to speak because yes. there's caramel inside. Oh, it's so uh, good. The cashews, the oh, caramel. It is delicious. They hand dip them at the window as well. Uh, so just delicious treats. It's one of my favorite things to do coming to Banff is to grab a slab of fudge or a grizzly paw or maybe both. Oh, or maybe both. Okay, so there is one thing that would be a perfect way to wrap up the morning. What's that? Uh, well, there's a night cap and then there's a morning cap. We're going to have a morning cap coming up in just a little bit. We're going to learn how to make...